Hey guys, it's Andy with The Rag Company, and in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to apply G-Technic's Easy Coat. Now, for this video, we're gonna be using my friend Z's Ford Raptor. This is a daily driven truck, and it is by no means perfect. The paint has some swirls, it has some scratches, he takes it off-roading, things like that. G-Technic's Easy Coat is a very, very, easy to apply short-term coating. Now this product lasts around three months, which should get him into that spring time frame that he wants to get into before going with a long-term coating. Now I'm gonna show you guys how to use this and show you kind of what things you should do before applying G-Technics Easy Coat. Now what makes this a little bit different than other types of coatings is that no, you don't have to polish. This is gonna be for people that daily drive their vehicles, um, soccer moms, people like that, that want really good protection and really good hydrophobic properties without all of the prep work to get into that. So uh, it has a hose attachment on here so you can put it on your typical garden hose that you have in your front yard and apply this product. They've managed to make this extremely clean rinsing, which a lot of those other products aren't able to do. So basically with another rinse after you apply the easy coat, everything rinses off clean. You come back through with a towel, you clean up any residual residue, uh, and you don't have to worry about any of that, uh, that extra stuff drying on there and sticking on there forever. So guys, this should be pretty simple, pretty straightforward. Now to give you a rundown, we've already gone through and we've cleaned the wheels. We've done a deep clean with the citrus all-purpose cleaner. We went through with the wheels, we got the tires all cleaned up. I mean, hell, I can't give him back his truck with dirty wheels and tires. So I wanted to make sure I cleaned those up. Now from here, we have dirty paint still. We have a dirty truck. So for this, we're gonna be using the Citrus Foam by G-Technic. Now, the reason I'm using this and not just a normal car wash soap is that this has degreasing properties. It's still pH balanced, but it has cleaning effects. So basically, it'll be able to do a nice deep clean that other soaps can't do while not affecting the protection left underneath. And so this truck doesn't have any protection, so I'm not too worried about that, but I do want the benefits of having that deeper bite to it. Now, if you wanna use a fault remover, by all means, go for it. If you wanna use a clay bar, by all means, go for it. If you wanna polish the vehicle before Easy Coat, then do it, do whatever you'd like to do. But for this, it's daily driven, it's a little rough around the edges, this is going to be perfect for what he's looking for. And so we don't have to go crazy above and beyond this video. So we need to jump into the wash first. So we're gonna to get to pressure washing this thing and then rinsing this down with some foam, doing a normal bucket wash, rinsing it again, and then jumping to easy coat. So we have some work to do. Let's get started. All right guys, so now it's time for the main event. As you can see, I got a little wet during the washing process. That is a little bit embarrassing, but we're gonna move on, right? That's how we do things here at the Rag Company. So we're gonna be applying Easy Coat. For this, I just have a normal garden hose hooked up to our water line. And from there, I just have a little quick disconnect onto uh, the Easy Coat bottle. It's really simple. For this, there is a simple on and off on the big red switch here on the side. It's just a plastic little switch back and forth on and off and then you have a black switch up front which is going to basically either suck product up depending on your position or just rinse clean pure water so um, for this I obviously want to be sucking product up and spraying it onto the car so if you want to rinse with this you absolutely can what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply the easy coat and then I'm going to actually rinse with a pressure washer because I think it's gonna be more efficient um, but it's up to you if you want to rinse with a hose you can absolutely do that if you want to take this off completely and rinse with a hose, you can do that or with your other spray nozzle or basically do you. Whatever you wanna do, go for it. As long as you have the product on there and you rinse it off with water at the end, you're fine. 
So now the truck is wet. That's a good thing. We want it to be wet. Um, you could technically apply this to a dry vehicle if you wanted to, if it was perfectly clean, but being wet and already clean, we're better off. So for this, I'm just spinning this thing on. I'm gonna start going from the top to the sides to the bottom. Uh, this bottle will typically do two whole cars. Um, this bottle is about three quarters full, so I'm just gonna finish it off on the truck here. Uh, we should be good to go. So I'm getting as much even coverage as I can. So for this, I'm gonna hit the windshield. We're gonna go on the hood. I'm going side by side, kind of cross hatching my protection. You can spray it on the wheels here. And I'm gonna be coming around to the front. I'm gonna shut it off, right? So at this point, I have about I don't know, a little less than half of that what I just use here. So it's, it's pretty efficient, right? So it uses more water than it does product. So it may look like I'm just blasting this thing. That's not really true. There, it's, it's, it's sucking up minimal product, so you should be able to do a couple cars. Um, basically, just remember to turn this thing off, right? You don't wanna leave this thing running and set it down because you will run out of easy coat. But immediately, just this side of the truck, what's the first thing you notice? Beating. Levi, beating? It's hydrophobic. It is already hydrophobic. I mean, just like that. And so at that point, this truck is protected. So we would go into it with a final rinse and then a dry, and that would be it. All right, guys, and all that's left is to dry this thing. So we're gonna grab a couple of the guys and kind of time lapse this, but hopefully this video was helpful and hopefully you guys learned something. As always, if you guys like this video, make sure you give us a big thumbs up. Subscribe down below for more and stay tuned for more videos right here at The Rag Company.